Oh no. I don't know if that makes sense. Instagramming. You know how that goes. Yo, no. let's start this video by saying, hey, what's up? This is your homegirl. Let's just be in. K Benali, that's me right here. Oh. <gasps> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So let's start off this video by heading up to the Santa Fe outlets. We had to use our coupon to wear polo. Well, wow. bye. Yo, K. Benali Instagramming again. Oh, that's how she does. Look, it's me, and then it's you. Anyway, so after the polo store, we had to hit the thrift. So let's show that footage of when we hit up and went to Savers and what we caught. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. They're calling us, I guess, apparently. Peace out. <laughs> um, pro player tag champions. I think it's 99. To leave this, it's pretty cool, but it's faded. Just you know, nah. oh, yep, George Strait. There's a when he was all nice and young, Strait from Texas 249. Not bad. Um, I'm gonna leave that. We're gonna leave this Beatles tea. We do come across Beatles stuff a lot, so it's all good. But we got a whole stack, y'all don't know what we got. All right, so we just dropped thirty-five dollars at Sables. Huh? Thank you. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so you just heard that we're babysitting a homie's doggy. You wouldn't think that was a dog sound. Yeah, but <laughs> the dog really misses its owner, which is so cute. So you saw at the beginning of the video. We hit the Polo Ralph Lauren factory store. So we only cops like, yeah, not even. I had to, you saw me try these on, right? The, the boys slip ons, right? She's it ended so up, lucky she's got small feet for real. It ended up only coming out to $10, you guys. So I thought that was a steal. I need some for summer. So, but this one over here, she goes and 
She's like, oh, I have to. <sighs> we gotta use a coupon. You know, when you got a coupon or a coupon, however you wanna fucking say it, whatever. But, you know, I've always wanted one of these. I don't <sighs> think I'm ever gonna thrift it. See. But, Let's and I know I got a newer one, but hey. Whoa. Whoa. It's as tall as us. Yo, that's fire. Yo, that's crazy. It's gigantic. It's the ultimate beach towel. It's it's amazing. I think we're gonna put it up though. We were talking, we we're like, let's put this up <laughs> on our gigantic boom. You know what I mean? So it's untouchable. So while we were in Santa Fe, we did stop in the thrifts, we hit savers. So what we caught in Santa Fe was pretty dang good. Whole stack, y'all. A whole stack. Finally done holding this. <laughs> Since you folded these so nicely, you get to undo them all. Thank you. <laughs> this one is sick. Um, we actually went to this concert, but we actually didn't get to pick up any merch because we we're a little, you know, broke back in the day. But <laughs> totally excited to stumble across the Chance the Rapper Acid Wrap Tea. Oh, Acid Wrap. On that Acid Wash uh, t-shirt. That was like the best album that came out that year. You already I don't know remember it. what year, but like I listened to that non-stop. Like we Probably both like, did. Yeah, I can't remember what year either it was exactly. Dope. But I love yeah. how it's like looks all faded. Yeah, and the denim it. look. No, look, nothing on the back, but this is totally ill. Acid wash. La Rasa, Eddie Guerrero. Yes. W W E T. I like the back. Boom. I actually like that on the back. The low rider. These are uh, loud, loud. Represent, we're the pieces. Latinas. Oh, this a is a dollar forty-nine. Vibe. Check this shit out, though. Ready? Howard the Duck. Yeah, this is ours personally, so this is yes. not for sale. It's a same as the Acid Rap shirt. It's, it's not a for Funko T Marvel collection, Marvel collector. Uh, yeah, it's very not recent. But still, it's such a dope graphic. How yeah. often do you find Howard the Duck prints? Not often. Oh, that's fire. It's cool. It's like a, a comic look, a comic book look. This is one of the coolest. I mean, I'm not a big ICP fan, but this is one of the coolest ICP shirts I think I've ever seen. And it's because of that whole pixel art one. Yeah. You that was... the Hatchet Man all pixelated like a video game in there. And then on the back, Hey, that's different, you know, that 8 bit style, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. it's sick. Very, hey. very sick. Hit us up. Oh, speaking of graphics, this, this graphic is Oh, this is sick. Loud. It's loud, yo. I told her, you gotta get this. I was like, that is nuts. It might be a newer uh, Universal Studio shirt. It does have all these older tags. It could be maybe 2000s. Um, but here we go Jurassic Park ride. Oh. Are you kidding me? Look at all over that like tie-dye look. The front, all over the shirt, front, back. I've actually gone on this ride breaks. and honestly, I mean, it was already expensive enough paying for the ticket to get into Universal Studios she and have a good time, you know. She I wasn't trying to like buy no like, you know, cheesy freaking Jurassic Park yeah. shirt. But when you can thrift it and it's loud like this, I don't know why it, it totally frisks the script, but now I'm just like more excited to wear it or even flip it or whatever. You know this shit is dope. All right, this next print. That oh, this is up, mine. This is not for sale. She just sorry. had to have it, and you know it's not like it's anything really that hardcore or anything like that. But X Men is my favorite uh, Marvel uh, series, so I had to pick up Gambit. Like, when do you ever see Gambit? I mean, yes, you can find this online at the mall, whatever. But I thrifted it. Come on now. How much was it? Two fifty. Two fifty. Not bad at all. Might as well get a shirt for two fifty if you can. Gambit. Oh man, you already know Slipknot tees are like some of the best like printed graphic tees ever. And we found another one. Slipknot. Hit us up. Hit us up. It goes hard. Boom. Front and back. Boom. Man, it's got the uh, nine point star yep. you already know you already yes. know and it's massive usually it's a little one on the back sometimes you know but it's a huge ass one on the fucking back gigantic and it's only it was only 250 again get that get that uh it's a collaboration tea uh a tour tea face to face tour 2001 it's just clean elton john and billy joel that's just really clean 
I love like the design of it as well. Oh, that's sick. It's amazing. It's a really, really excellent t-shirt. Oh, this next one is for me because, uh, you know, I got those Gatorade Retro 6s or the Gatorade Jordan 6s Gatorade Retro, Don't whatever drink you want to call Gatorade. it. But boom. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> oh, it's like perfect. You got the whole outfit now. I'm going to match my shit like crazy. And I got the cooler. I'm just going to walk around with the cooler for no fucking reason just so I can match my damn shoes and be mad Gatorade out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. It's cool. Front, 250. Front and back. Oh, it's loud. It's loud. I like that. All right, this next one, a pro player T-shirt for all you Denver Bronco fans, and that year they were champions. Boom. Pro player? Are you kidding me? This is old as. <laughs> Extremely old. So to find it in such good condition. This is this is really nice. Mm -hmm. right. And then the last of our thrift pickup is actually a sick George Strait shirt. Boom! Look at that print. He looking like a rapper up there. <laughs> <laughs> all his all his alcohol stuff. Yeah. Look at his big old belt buckles. Man. It's it's He's shining. Dope. He's go shining. George Strait. Go the bag. Go. Oh yeah, the bag. Yup. George Strait. Boom. Uh, that still looks like his younger days too. Right. Oh, you know what? Let me throw on something Jump real on. quick. Let Jump. me throw on something. Jump real quick. on Hold it. On Jump Hold on, on it. Oh, and we cop a George Strait freaking vintage hat to match. What? Look at that embroidery. Style. It's all gold with the teal. Yep. Yeah. We Fire. We, we we know. Fire. All right. So this last part, we did buy four things off the internet and they were actually auctions online you know if you're a homie i would tell you where i found him but let's get into it yeah. it came in in the mail i'm so excited holy it fell open already but i think we received it first so we're gonna open it ready we like, have which one is it, it? you know what i mean incredible oh, oh go. yes cool all here right here we go here we go Lakers jersey, and you already know. Sweet. Boom. Champion Shaquille O'Neal jersey. Lakers. Yes. Oh, I am so happy. Yes. So, um, size 52. So, I won it for 15 bucks. Like, you know, tell me if that was a good deal or not. What would you, what would you have done it as well? Like, bid on it? So. I know that Let people know. are like on the fence about O'Neal, you know, he's kind of a great basketball player, kind of not, but Come on, he's, he's a legend. also a legend. Yeah. Uh, he <laughs> was in Kazam, Hello, <laughs> like one of everybody's favorite movies growing up. Hello. For real, for real, for real. So that was the first cop. I'm really excited. Vintage 90s champion jersey, Shaquille O'Neal. All right, let's Love open it. this other next one. Here we go. All right, on to the second package. I honestly don't know what order everything came in, so I'm glad it just all came through. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. You guys ready for this? <laughs> hey, came in. Y'all ready? Ooh, yes. Vintage Champion Dream Team USA basketball jersey for oh. Reggie Miller. Yeah. Come on. Dream Team USA, you guys. Like, size Indiana 36. Pacers. So it is a smaller size. He was such a great player. Hella like, vintage though. Hella, hella vintage. Such a dope player. Even says Dream Team number two up there. Uh, Sick. Wow. Yes, I'm with it. 